What's up guys, Justin from JustLessGood.com here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recreate the popular Instagram filter, Crema, in Photoshop. So the Crema filter actually adds a slightly desaturated, but contrasted vintage color to your photo, and we're going to recreate that in three simple steps. So step one is head over to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and create a Curves Adjustment Layer. Here we're going to add a few points. So working on the default composite layer here, the RGB, we're going to take the first point and leave the input at 0, but raise the output to 19. Next, we're going to add another point about a quarter of the way in, and we're going to put the in point at 88 and the output at 87. And you can just type them in like I'm doing there. And then lastly, we're going to add one more point at 179 input and an output of 152. And then actually we're going to take the, the final point which is already there and we're just going to lower the output to 225. So now we've kind of dulled down our photo, we're going to inject some color into it. So head over to your red um, channel and we're going to add one point in the middle of an input of about 121 and an output of 134. Finally, we're going to skip the green channel and we're going to head right to our blue channel and we're going to drag the first point up to an output of 32 and then we're going to drag the most top right point down to 220. So an output of 220. So once you have your curves adjustments set up, you see it's added that vintage flavor. Now we're just going to take two more steps to kind of desaturate it and then contrast it. So go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue Saturation, and select OK. And here you just want to turn the saturation down to negative 39. And then you want to turn the lightness down to negative 2. All right, go ahead and hit Enter and now we're done with that layer and then finally we're going to give some contrast to the photo once again by going to layer new adjustment layer brightness contrast so bear with me here it's a lot of numbers but finally we're going to go to brightness 22 and we're going to increase the contrast all the way up to 100 and make sure you're not using legacy so leave this box unchecked so once you have all three of your adjustments you have your final look, which is your Crema filter in Photoshop. So thanks a lot for watching. If you want to download the free Photoshop action for this effect so you don't have to go through all the steps every time, you can find it on my website, justicegood.com, under the post for this tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description below. And also, you can find me on any social media. My username is justicegood on all of them. So subscribe for future tutorials. Let me know what you thought below. And once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.